Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got the usual breakdown for Isanzo's 17th dev blog. So to start, it's important to understand what these units meant historically and culturally as elite members of the military on both sides. For the Italians, the marksman class will be represented by the Bersaglieri unit, uh, apologies for terrible pronunciation, and the Austro-Hungarians will have the Kaiserschlüssen. Now, while both of these are definitely best suited at long ranges with magnified optics, the developers seem to put a lot of emphasis on their versatility as trained units in real life and in gameplay. So in game, you won't necessarily be forced to use a scope with your rifle, and you can choose several different combinations of rifles, scopes, and bayonets. You'll also have a variety of pistols and melee secondaries to choose from here, and the class's respected perks, while catered to long range, can also be used effectively in a stormtrooper or thick of the action type role. For example, they listed four perks that can be used with the class. The default one allowing spotting through a rifle scope to give your team better intel. The specialist perk which eliminates weapon sway while crouched and prone. The elite marksman perk which allows for unlimited aiming focus. And then the stalker perk which makes it impossible to be spotted by the enemy team. Most of which are oriented for long range gameplay, yes, but especially that last one could be used to get some serious flanks and push enemy trenches with a pistol. Now, they also said this class will have access to armor, which won't change the actual TTK of any guns, but instead will just reduce your damage taken from explosions and shrapnel and reduce the effects of suppression on your character. Of course, this has its downsides in weight, which is reflected by a slower overall movement speed for you, but obviously that's somewhat essential for balancing purposes. Finally, to close out this dev blog, we have a close-up of one of the scoped rifles, that being the Steyr Manschleiner M95 with the C Reichardt scope. Once again, a pronunciation is not my strong suit. As always, the models look fantastic, and I can't wait to get my hands on these in-game to see what the kick, eye relief, and parallax look like on these optics. Because, while still very effective, the picture-in-picture -picture optics of Verdun and Tannenberg were a little rough to use. But we'll just have to wait and see how much they've changed them between them and this new game. And anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.